Hello everyone. Welcome you to another series of Next Step Forward. The Next Step Forward is a series I have designed with an intent to assist you with simple yet powerful solutions that can help you progress in your job, role and career. This series aims to address some of the most common queries that can help you progress in your professional life. In our today's session, I would like to talk to you about a scenario wherein employees having reached a tenure of 10 plus years into their job and then they struggle and they struggle to pass interviews or they find themselves stuck and confused not really being able to understand what what is it that's holding them back and how they can succeed their interview game so in our in our session today i would like to put this the next step forward that a person or an individual can take and you can share this with anyone you feel is going through a similar situation and what I plan to do is I would talk in three points so the next step forward is a three points which you can practically implement if in case either it's you or anyone uh, or who you know is into a similar situation so first things friends if at all after 10 years of work experience sometimes life may take turns and twist and we may be into a situation where we've been applying for interviews but not really been able to clear them or pass them now this sometimes brings us into a, a, a very embarrassing or kind of situation which we situation which we don't even share with our close family members so some of the steps that you can actually you know really practically put into practice here is first thing understand after pandemic not only our job or roles but the whole world has undergone a sea change and this applies to the job for well so if in case you're looking for a job and not really able to pass those interviews follow these first thing understand that what got you here won't get you ahead meaning uh, when when we are fairly new in our jobs straight out of our college universities it's a far more easier world to get into a job because our goal and our aim at that point is more of getting employed and we are just just beginning to explore which is a very different approach when we have already spent 10 years so do not or rather i would say uh, refrain from using the methods you use to get hired when you went out of your university and college and you were you know applying for jobs and attending interviews you that approach will no longer work now you now need to think from a from a, an experienced professional that you are what could be the right channel that i need to tap in for an experienced seasoned professional like me getting into the uh, the, the next job that you are aiming for so so uh, make a point that stop the old traditional methods like reaching out to a, to a job portal and expecting you to get some job openings from there or approaching your interviews the way you used to do it 10 years ago it will help the second next step forward that you could take is to read the pattern so if 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 an individual is struggling to pass that interview uh, there are there are times when we are under tremendous stress we fail to read and reflect and it's obviously because our goal and aim is to crack an interview just get into the job and and move out of this phase of unemployment but one of the things that uh, you may not know that can come to your rescue is to read the patterns when i say read the patterns is understand uh, two things here two things here the first is where are you getting your job openings from uh, meaning the channel like is it a friend or a referral who's uh, sharing uh, a job posting with you and then you're applying and you're being called for an interview or are you the second option here is are you 
reaching out agency or a or a job vendor a consultant who's helping you getting placed in some organization because uh, understand here friends both the approaches have a phenomenal different uh, approach a friend who would refer you and you go and attend an interview to that particular organized particular organization um, a confirmation bias may come in when it is referred by your friend because it all uh, somehow will influence the kind of position your friend holds in there in that given company so if your friend is just one of the employees are not good so you may uh, you really may perhaps have to prepare really well otherwise when it comes in from a very highly reputed manpower agency or a job consultant who would not only refurbish your entire resume but also present such a way that you will be put through uh, certain things wherein because you already hold a 10 years of work experience where now you need to uh, perform and you need to give your interview and understand what's the need of that organization so a job consultant where they where they place people into organizations play a very different role in helping you find a job or crack an interview vis-a-vis a referral so understand this in reading your pattern understand if you are not really passing your interviews how is it that you are being approached which channel is which channel is uh, Uh, is throwing up more job opportunities for you where you're going and attending interviews this makes a difference this will also help you understand how well you need to prepare i'm not saying if you are being referred by a referral you shouldn't prepare but it does make a difference and this is just one of the pattern the second what you could also do is uh take a pen and a paper and let's say you've given four to five interviews in the past several weeks uh, recall all the conversations you had and just make statements let's say just write interview 1 this was conversation interview 2 interview 3 interview 4 interview 5 now now from each of it try to search was it something that you uh, find yourself a little stuck or difficult to answer because at times uh, it may so happen that there are some new technologies there are some new technologies coming in and certain firms work on certain other technologies which you are not aware of so if they may have asked you a question and it would have been about something you are not really trained on they may not have found you to be somebody eligible to be given that role or uh, see that you should have prepared well to answer a difficult question that the interviewer is asking a 10 plus years of uh, person coming with a 10 plus years of experience so when you recall all these conversations and you put them on a paper you will be able to read not just this one pattern but maybe maybe perhaps a lot more and then you can connect the dots to which is one of the ways that can give you some insights into what really is going wrong finally the third step this is not the final and exhausted one but uh, just for this particular series the next step forward one of the third steps that you could use is also to do a little uh, research on the positions you are applying for because understand that in the corporate world a senior professional either goes into an ic job which is an individual contributor job or a team lead so what you have been doing for the past 10 years you know it very well so understand that if you're applying for a individual contributor role while you have never been into that or you're applying for a team lead role while you never had led a team of let's say uh, more than 50 people then that could also be, then that could also be one of the reasons uh, for you not really been getting selected so think about these factors and also dig deep into the into the role that you're applying for what exactly this role um, in the in the entire chain of hierarchy where does it stand and what are the growth prospect you know do a bit of research so that you can one way prepare before you go to the interview and you position yourself as somebody they may you know hire you for or you get to learn is it something that you want to apply for so it helps both ways 
so these are some of the next step forwards you could do friends if in case you find yourself struggling to crack that interview but beyond this in case you feel you still need help then i would suggest that you should hire a coach and seek help well that's it for today i hope these three basic tips that i just shared with you uh you may have found them useful let me know feel free to write back to me and i'll talk to you soon